And welcome back to another installment of Baltimore County Forever Podcast. What up, though? This is a very interesting and special episode. We've tried this several times on the newer software. It didn't work out. I'll figure it out later. Um, we are talking about college radio yeah. in 2024. Yeah. yeah. We think anyway. Okay. We are trying to... Debunk figure some something shit, out. Right? Yes, yes, word? yes. Debunk. Yes. We all fucking and uh, MythBusters. Yes, yo, I love I love MythBusters. <laughs> dog. I, like I love Myth that Busters. shit. I'm a conspiracy theorist. I love MythBusters. This is uh, so. Huss has someone on the line. Was it? Let me call him. Yeah, because um, we're trying to figure this out from people that are in two different areas, and. Huss is hearing about it, and I'm getting a follow from these people, too. So I'm trying to figure out what is college radio in 2024. <laughs> I feel like this is like so. So he don't even consider it college radio, so watch. Okay. Let me hear I'm going to just let him explain how you explain it. All right. Dude, yeah, hold it up. To, yeah, there we go. No, yeah, no, the, the, the receiver. Bottom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's been forwarded. Damn. He's the he's the one that does uh the videos, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you go right there. Yo. Yeah. 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 I got him. All right, bro. What's going on? Uh yeah. So uh, you're on Baltimore I mean, County Forever podcast. I don't, just in case I don't want you. To, <laughs> you want on the pod. You on the pod. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Right. Now, I mean, basically, what's going on? And I didn't think to describe it like this, like a distribution deal, like I said, but. I mean, it is what it is. That's what, you know, essentially that's what it is. Um, so, like, they're taking media of all for all forms and all types, and they basically just turn you up with stuff that you already had, or they're providing a, a full, you know, media suite as far as everything that comes with getting graphics done, um, you know, visuals of any type that's easily postable for somebody that doesn't know anything about any of that stuff. So basically, take any artist, give them media you already have, so they can make you a believer. And then once they start kicking you back, all the you know the postable stuff with the songs behind it and the different intricate, like different levels and different types of media is showing you know lifestyle stuff and like um, just whatever. If you want some street shit, you know they're gonna make it like that, more or less. How um, Master P was doing with those mixtape covers and all that. They kind of doing that type of game catering it to your lane and your niche and then they're kicking you back the actual product for free initially because you can post and once you start to see the traction start seeing more followers come you know hopefully the intent is to get more listeners but at the end of the day that's neither here nor there because what they're doing is they're using these streaming farms to run up the numbers so that you start to see the residual checks and at that point then they're cashing out on their investment on you taking anywhere from, I've heard anywhere from 15 to 25%, um, which ain't bad if they're doing whole shoots and music videos, you know, when y'all both Shit, are confident. Yeah. Right, for sure, yeah. But, but you know, they just. not a label, I don't have to give you a budget. I don't got to tell you anything. I don't got to do anything. And y'all don't even see the numbers. So, so basically. Blah, 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 but you don't know, and I don't owe you a contract to show you anything. Technically. Damn. Technically. So that means they can make it, they can say, oh, we spent $100,000 on this, when really they know somebody that'll do this for free, and I know somebody that'll press this up Uh and do all of this for $500, but make it seem like you owe them a hundred. A real label. Well, worth of work you, but we don't know. It's but we don't know. It ain't no. It's not a real hundred. Yo, it could be a theory, thousand. Y'all are right. In theory, y'all are right. But in reality, we talking about a bunch of savvy Baltimore street niggas that is like not just gonna get over on me like that. I need to see uh, something behind this. It's one. the mob. And you know, and two, um, <sighs> they got people like me that they can reference. Like, oh, bro, bro, did it, you know a quick shoot and. and and which photo they've been using from two years ago to, to present day, kicking me like a buck or two. We, we could shoot all day. So they have a good reference point. They got, you know, as far as the streams go, 
they're not going to just be going for anything because they have people that they know that they did it already. And they see what type of money so they're they making. Pay them. Based off. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 we don't know what the real number is. We don't know what the real number is. They should get paid though. Based off the streams. Mm-hmm. Well, that's assuming that they have the same formulas that these people like at Gamma. Mm. Have. Um, like when Larry Jackson did the interview with Joe, he was he was like kind of dancing around, but he made yeah. it very clear that they have strict formulas that tell what should be paid out because they're about to start. They let they're rolling out paying artists. Weekly and bi weekly, not no monthly, not yearly, none of that. I'm getting royalties weekly because they want people to move away from having to have these other jobs. If you're an artist, they want you to be a full time artist. If that's what your craft is, they want you to concentrate on that craft. So I think these types of companies, like these small niche streaming farms and all that, I think they're, it's, it seems like they got it with intentions. Like they're trying to work people towards. They get 20%. That's the intent. Yeah, but they want you to just be an artist. But listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what he's saying. Yes, they get 20%. But if I make it so you could fucking, all you got to do is it, create, it, it, yeah. then I get 20% of mad shit. Yeah. So that, that works yeah. for them. Like, you well, get your okay. bi-weekly pay, but that works for them because now I'm, let's say, let's say, all right, I rap or whatever. Let's say if I got full time to do it, I rap. I want to do clothes. I want to write movies. I want to do but a show. Not worry about your money on the back end. The real, the real business on the back end, right? Because I'm just folk paying you to focus on this. That's what and I was asking. Y'all 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 but no, no. But what I'm saying, listen. I said, if I just came and gave y'all a half an M, if I just came and gave you, you gonna question why, right? Yeah. So most niggas won't. And the fact that I don't have to do nothing else but, like DB said, is okay. make music. And a lot of artists don't care to do anything other than create. That's been Andre's side, three thousand plight for thirty years. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna make I music. Just wanna you, create. you, you tell me all this shit about the business. Typically, a, a nigga that don't understand the business is gonna be like, "All right, you do whatever you wanna do." Yeah, DB is an example. But in the same breath. That's how niggas get taken advantage yeah, of, and then they want to yeah. cry about it later yeah. because they didn't take the time to understand to the, the business. business because yeah. you was too busy trying to create and didn't want to multitask, which I understand that can be a lot. But essentially what Jimmy's saying is these niggas are doing everything for them and just... It's, Getting it's, the money back. It's really taking a fucking a, label yeah. Yeah. Without, the without the contract. Without the contract. So does that? Oh, you don't but, have to. So if I uh, want to, I'm not. I'm not held accountable. If it just don't work, it just don't work. On which side? On, on, on which side of yeah. accountability? Yeah. Oh, or mainly for me though, the label. Mainly for the label. Not if it's street shit at, at the One end of the day. Though, you gotta understand from the other perspective too, from somebody that's been trying to figure out how to, you know, work with different people that have different crafts and skills. How can I make it all work for me? They feel like this is them figuring out the business. They feel like this is them figuring out the model. The model is Ooh. these people have all the tools and all the resources that I need. Only thing I got to do is buy into it, post the post the stuff that they're giving me daily, and be consistent, and the money will come because it is a farm. It is like some shit behind it as well. It's not just flat out straight business. There's more to it. They have a small machine behind it. There's a machine. So okay. they feel like this is the answer. This is them finding out the business. And this is how, this is a hmm. lane. Not the only route, but it's a lane. On the other side of that, of what y'all mentioned, with that half a mil, if you listen to Money Man on Big Facts, not to keep shouting out pet pods, but you know, that's, this is where they give a lot of their game because this is their real life. Money Man says specifically he take, he took a bunch of half a million dollar loans mm-hmm. from said type of entities and gave them back 700, not even having to. He had to just pay back maybe 50, 60 on top. No, he gave them back a couple hundred because he's a hustler. He knows how to, he can do it 10 times over and he can do it continually. His credit is so good that people just want to help him. Of course, he's a good business person, but all these different entities saying, wow, you can do that in this amount of time? Hell yeah, I'm trying to help you get your streams up or, you know, um, teach you how to promote this and this and that and get you these shows and all these different things. 
Like the colors with it. Oh, because you bring yeah. that bread back. He bringing, he bringing the, bread the bread back bread, yeah. and then some. So now I know that I can get my money back from you, and you willing to give me more just because I taught you something. That's yep. how you build relationships. That's how you build relationships. Got to give a little and didn't yeah, get a little. Continue to help you and work with you and keep building with you. Hell yeah. yeah. That's why he got where he is now. It's y'all same theory when I was saying, um, when I was saying Drake got a bad deal, when y'all was saying, like, yo, you got to work through that contract. Yeah. You got to build that equity mm-hmm. up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You take the shit contract and you work it. That way, when it's time to re up, Okay, you got can't something to stand you, on. Yeah, yeah, you got something to stand on. Right. And you can go in there and, and, and essentially put your dick on the table. Yo, I did this already. So I'm not never doing this again. So what can we do? This is my work. This is what I did when y'all gave me this. So now y'all gotta give me more. It's undeniable. Yeah. What Dre did, what you to speak to what you're saying is undeniable. So now people are uh having a hunch that through gamma he got these deals with like Four bats and uh, sexy red and all that. Like, yeah. that's why people are just running because they're like, he's making a killing off of this because he's a, he's a coach slash owner and a player. Yeah, yeah, a, a true A and R. Yeah, <laughs> that's A&R, everything, anything. Bro, he do that, and he he can stand on it because it's proven. Yeah. Damn. Damn. So all the months y'all was right about the Drake shit, and I I, I fought it. I apologize to you, but boy. you you came from the perspective of an artist, though. So you can't you can't like not do that. Like yeah, especially somebody that doesn't really care about that particular side of the business is like business side. It's like you always going to speak from an artist's perspective. So I, I mean, I completely understand why you would think that. But yes, you were wrong. Okay. <laughs> Such a fucking <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. I, now it's funny um, because all this um, came. Oh, he's still. Oh, he gone. But yeah, all this came about because they started following me. Now, I didn't really like go into it, but he's saying that they do all sorts of media, and it's it's just like Riverside. Everything is there. What I'm paying a fee. Okay. So it's it's essentially they. They buying into the fact that they're able to, they have all the sources. So, uh, all, resources, right? Is, but they're not accountable. Yeah. It just don't work. It just don't work. It just don't work. With the labels, the money, with them, you got to be like, all right, this is the budget. Mm-hmm. They like, they don't. Like they don't give a said, fuck what the yeah, budget like is. Yeah, it might have looked like I spent a hundred thousand, but I just spent I, I spent five hundred. I spent five hundred dollars. But I, because I got a hundred thousand dollars worth of work, I know you. You you can edit. I know you. You can. You know I can saying? write it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This goes just, deeper into something that I don't. I'm not willing to say on here, but this is the '80s. Talk to me. I will say it after. But right. this this is Yo, the we need to write that if, down because I want to hear it. It's the eighties. Okay. Okay. Is it? It's the eighties. All right, we'll 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 tell you that one. I need I need I'm itching. Blime it. Sublime it. Blime it a little bit. Who bat Joe Button? Webin Nitty. Say less. Street niggas. Say less. Say less. Say less. You you put that right together. Good job. Yeah. Okay. All right. You ain't got to say no more. We all got it. I'm sure the music lovers of this show, they all got it. We all got it. That's, that's why niggas ain't liable. 